everything that goes into a slot car goes into a real racing car. How do I, as a college student or young person, get involved with cars when nobody will let me have an experience? Or I can't afford to go out and buy a car? It was a really fun hobby that's almost completely forgotten about in this day and age. And that's slot cars. The thing about it is, what people write off is typically toys, whether it's slot cars or radio control airplanes or anything like that, oftentimes requires the most intelligence and genius to go in them. So what somebody thinks, oh, you're just playing with toys. That's what I got when I was a kid, playing with slot cars, radio control cars, bicycles, etc. But that's what made me who I am. That's what began my career. That's what gave me the ability to design in my head, to conceptualize, gave me the craftsmanship, and started learning about cars and racing. Everything that goes into a slot car goes into a real racing car. And if you can be good at building, setting up, understanding, testing, designing, and racing a slot car, you're well on your way to being able to do it with the real thing amazingly. But our modern culture has completely forgotten about this because we run simulators and video games. And think about this. If all you're doing is spending your time in like iRacing or Forza or something like that, all of your work only exists on a little memory chip. You have effectively nothing to show for it other than the antenna value and maybe some skill levels afterward. But if you build something like a slot car, you built something real that you always get to have. You always get the pride of the craftsmanship and creating. But when you create something that actually races that you have to test in a real world environment, it's real. And when I speak with, through Genius Scratch, when I speak with hiring people, HR people at big manufacturing companies or a CEO, I literally talk to the CEO of McLaren. Yes, McLaren, Formula One, supercars. The other day, they want to hire people with real world experience. So even if you're a high school kid, or a college kid. You don't have hardly two pennies to rub together. And you save a little bit of money to build slot cars. It matters. So I want to talk about that. Real race car has suspension. So the tires can touch the ground and undulations and apply power and weight transfer and everything that's happening. Slot cars do the same through chassis flex. Depending on how you build your chassis, where you put the weights, how much flex, how much movement, that is the suspension. And yes, it's a big deal. If you want to tune it to race to win against people and it's being com computer timed, that's how you do it. So slot cars literally have suspension that tunes in much of the exact same way a real car is. The tires, different durometers of foam, different types, different compounds, keeping them clean. Is there any kind of traction compound? What is the track surface like? Because the big slot car tracks are wood and they have to be, they have to be treated. Depending on what temperature the track is, it's going to stick differently. Depending on how much one lane has been used, it's going to stick differently. Just like real racing. So what you're going to learn from the tires and setup in a slot car translates just to this. Tire pressure. What heat cycle have you run? How long are these tires good for? They may not be worn out, but they may be crap after not 12 heat cycles. Everything about it, your contact patch, your compound, goes into slot cars too. This race car here makes 680 horsepower, weighs 2,000 pounds. It's an open cockpit Le Mans prototype car. Full aerodynamics, everything. That same aspect goes into slot cars. They're so fast based upon what they weigh, the aerodynamics has a huge play. How much downforce do you have in the rear? How much drag? What do the rules allow you to do with your body? How much downforce in the front? Where's your center of pressure? All of this happens and matters hugely in slot car racing to race, to make a great slot car that's not only fast, but drivable, just like it is in real racing. Motor building. Your air gap, your rare earth element magnets, your windings. That's even, you're getting into electrical engineering, but a lot of the same things that go into real cars. So ignition timing on this, the timing or the advance on your commutator to your motor, all the same things go into it. So where I'm going with this is a young person, you can have a lot of fun, you're gonna learn craftsmanship, you get to go racing, you get to meet people, get out, you're racing. But if you learn from all of these things and you're really good at slot cars and you take it kind of seriously, but you keep the fun in it. All of those things matter and will one day make you a better engineer, a race car builder, and driver. Yes, driver, because these slot cars, even all you do is control throttle, you have to set it up. You have to know how it is, changing conditions. You have other guys racing. They slide through the corners. So if the guy on the inside is sliding like this and you're not, he can pop you out. All of these, there's so much strategy goes and a lap might only last for two and a half to four seconds. So you've got to be on the money. 
by a thousandth of a second every time. If you pop out, you crash, you're going to lose time. It's, it's really exciting, and I just invite all you young people to look out there to try to find a hobby shop somewhere where you can race big 124 scale slot cars on those giant tracks. It's a lot of fun. It's going to make you a better craftsman. Now, truth be told, most of the people who do it are old. They're going to be like grand, your granddad's age, your dad's age, or something like that, but that's okay. Okay, you get to meet people from different generations and stuff, and you're going to have a wonderful hobby that's going to make you a better racer. It's a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. And I'll be frank, racing and building slot cars when I was a kid, rail control cars, bicycle, all of that, is what set me on the path to do everything you see here. Making me a better engineer, a better craftsman, a better fabricator. You know, the ability to render and think in your mind. Because when you have a slot car, you have to use your eyes. You have to look at it to get the data. You have to listen. Listen to the motor. How does it sound? Is it loading up in the corners? Listen to the air. You can literally hear it coming off of your aerodynamics, your spoilers, if you have a wing car, for instance. So you can feel it. You're racing it. That's going to make you see to the pants better. Because somebody who can only look at data on a computer is never going to be as good as somebody who can also use all of their senses to get something and looking at it with the data. So this is the absolute best place any young person can start to be an engineer or get into racing. Check out 124 scale slot cars. And if you like classic cars, the old ones from the 60s that were really popular are kind of valuable now. So you might be able to find an old one, restore it just like an old car, right? And then sell for more money. Maybe it'll fund your whole racing effort. So that's my tip for this time, guys. See you later.